this uh, this call failed, so I got to do it again. And it got me thinking, you know, something's better than nothing. Like a lot of people don't know where to start working on their boat, you know. They just have no idea. You got a lot of projects, and they just don't know where where to go, what to do, where to start. I mean, you know, and it's it's kind of daunting. It can be. Especially if you have a lot of projects, you know. Well, something is better than nothing. Start anywhere. Do anything. Any project. Start on any of them. If you listen to your boat, right, if you're working on the boat, it will tell you what the priorities are. It'll, it'll let you know pretty quick, you know. Um, my whole plan before I went in the water was to mess with the bottom, do a little caulking, some paint, you know, just a couple things. And I, it wasn't the transom, you know, but I found the transom was rotten, so that's priority. Um, this area here, we got a tropical storm coming tomorrow. And last night I'm sitting there reading a book and all of a sudden, drip, 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 drip. <laughs> so <laughs> this is priority, you know, you have to, you have to do what needs to be done, but the most important thing is that you do something. If you if you just fret and worry and not do anything, those problems that you're having on the boat, they're gonna get worse. They're gonna get worse and worse and worse and worse, and they're not gonna get any better, you know? So every day, the boat is in worse condition than it was. If you're, if you're doing something, anything, you know, then every single day, the boat is in better condition than it was. So every day, even if you're doing something small, even if it's just painting something, you know, every single day, the job is smaller. There's less to do. Even if it's small, it doesn't matter. Each little thing, this big giant job is smaller and smaller and smaller. And I, and I think that's very important. But... You know, you may not know the best way of doing something, right? And that's keeping you from doing it. Just start. Start doing it, you know. The act of doing it is going to show you, oh, well, yeah, I should have done this or should have done that. Let's say you do it wrong, you know. I don't know, maybe you're fixing a leak and you fix it wrong. Well, it's going to leak again, right? So what? So so you do it again. Then you learn, Then you've learned how to do it. The most important thing is that you've done something. You know, as you're working, you will find, you know, something will show up and be like, oh, well, yeah, that's more important. You know, if you're if you're painting something, maybe you don't even know what's wrong. That's I think a lot of times when I've gone to help people or teach them how to do it or, or you know, even just go do the work myself, a lot of times... They have no idea where to go, what to start, what to do. And once you start working and you're spending time on the boat every day doing these things, well, then you're like, oh, okay, this goes here, that goes there, or oh, there's a leak and now I know the source. The important thing is if you're spending time doing it, the boat will tell you what it needs, you know? The key is start anywhere. Do something. Paint, tape, reassembly, fix things. Start easy, start hard, but get cracking and make the job smaller. Because every single day that you do anything, the job is smaller. Instead of doing nothing and the job is getting bigger. Because if it's rotting or leaking, right, like this, if I didn't fix this leak, this is going to rot. It's fresh water. It's just going to keep dripping in there, and it's going to rot, you know. And and this is another reason why you should be paying pretty good attention to your boat. You know, if you've got a boat, you're not going down and looking at it all the time. You just have no idea. You know, if the day before this started leaking, it wasn't leaking. You know, let's say I only come down and look at my boat on the weekends. Well, that means... Here in Georgia, you know, it's raining every single day, every day. 
means every day it's going to be leaking until you come back and look, which is going to saturate wood and, and cause rot. So the, be out on the boat. Be looking at the boat. Be working on the boat. And just do something. Anything. I'm telling you, if you do anything, it's better off. You know, you'll find things to do and you'll feel good about it. You know, even if you even if you do it wrong, do it. Just just get out there and just do it. Just start doing something. If you do it wrong, you're gonna have to do it again. So what? You know, uh, it's better than doing nothing. You'll if you do it wrong, you'll learn because you'll at least have seen enough of it doing it the way you did it, and you'll go, oh, well, that didn't work. So then you'll ask or you'll look it up or you'll you know watch a YouTube video or read a book or whatever, or just figure it out. But the second time you go back to do it, you'll know why it failed, you know? And I don't like doing things twice, but for example, this, I already did this. I did this in San Diego, right? I did it, what, two months ago, three months ago, something like that, when I, when I got the boat in San Diego. And it's a desert there, you know, so, no freshwater leaks really because of that but the uh so i went around and i caulked everything that looked like it was going to leak you know i went around i i did this i drove cotton in this seam here and i put polysulfide caulking and so far this has held up but this right here i don't know what happened something has failed um i did i did notice that when i caulked it when i when i went back to check it today however that the caulk was all gooey, right? It was already on board, so it probably was past its expiration date. So I could just scratch it off with my fingernail. I mean, it just wasn't doing anything. So we're gonna do it again. And if I have to do it again and again and again and again and again and again until it's done, so what? You know, I mean, yeah, I don't like doing things twice, but this time it's brand new caulk. I'm just making sure I scrape back everything but yeah, it's frustrating. No, I, I really don't want to be doing this again, especially right now when we have a storm coming, but buddy, I better get it done now because tropical storm, we're gonna get a lot of rain. So, you know, just don't let a big job deter you from doing the work, right? Nobody knows where to start, you know? I mean, there isn't a starting place. There isn't, you know, for me, if I'm ascertaining a job, I, I try to come up with a list of priorities, you know, this is higher priority than this and this and this. And sometimes the priority isn't what is more, sometimes it's not what's more structurally important, right? Sometimes that's not the priority. Sometimes the priority is where's a good starting place? What's an easy thing I can do so I can familiarize myself with the boat and just start working, you know? So yeah, I'll go around, I'll fix leaks, I'll do caulk, I'll do stuff like that, you know? And the big stuff that's really important usually will show itself, you know? You'll see, oh, whoops, uh, there's some rot here, and you start digging, and then you're like, oh, okay, well, now I know where to go and what to do. But, but the important thing is, Owning a boat is, is such an amazing thing, right? You know, it's it's a, a world traveling RV. You know, uh, what is the uh, what is the old Danish the old Danish phrase? What is it? Uh, Bundiner botlaus madur, I think, or mundin, something like that. What it means is bound is the boatless man, right? So having a boat, you've got this freedom to get all this stuff, but you can get caught up. If you got a boat with a pro with projects, which every boat has projects, even brand freaking new ones. Oh yeah, I used to work for Hinkley, Hinkley Yacht Services, way back in a different life. And this is this is just goes to show you, you know, what how every boat has problems. This is a brand new Hinkley, some kind of picnic boat I think they brought in. <laughs> Five million dollar boat, and brand spanking new, just built. They brought it to the yard, and it, and it had this, like, sliding door thing went out into the cockpit, right? 
well, it didn't work. <laughs> they went to deliver it to the to the customer. He came to get it, and the thing didn't work. And so they had to spend, geez, I, I want to say like a, a couple million bucks fixing the thing. You know, and that's a brand new boat, and it took you know months or whatever, and they fixed it, and they got it right. I mean, you know, uh, there's a reason why. Hinkley's cost so much. They are amazing boats, but even a brand new boat has problems. You know, $5 million boat. <laughs> and they spent another couple million bucks fixing a brand new boat that had never been owned yet. You know, so it's okay to be frustrated. You know, it is. It's okay to get angry. It's okay to, to go, ah, man, you know. But then do something about it. So be frustrated and then get to work. Work out your frustrations and it's okay if you don't know what you're doing. You can learn and the way you're gonna learn is by doing it wrong. You know, you're gonna make mistakes. Make them, hurry up and make them. Start making the mistakes and do things twice. I'm doing this twice. It sucks, but it needs to be done. You know, that's it, but yeah. What I have to do is I'm gonna, let me take this off and then just put all in there. Yeah, so that's it. You know, start somewhere. Something is better than nothing.